All right, let's see. Ha, huh, I'm in. Okay, cool. Let me rearrange things. Turn the sound back up on this. I hope everything that I sold wasn't, I mean, bought wasn't disappear into the ether. Quickly repair and then see. Nope, it did not. Okay, cool. No, let's try it. Reads. I haven't looked up how to do this one either, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, Actually, because of the DDoS attacks, I'm actually kind of worried about doing any raids, period. And whether it'd be safer for me just to, um, especially what raids I don't know. I know this sounds like I'm getting out of doing the Omega stuff, but... I'm quite sure I'd be both mad at anybody who's a healer that gets DC'd in the middle of a fight. Um... Yeah, I might just... First thing tomorrow, do this on stream. Next trick, what am I going to do now? Hmm. Well, since I am in... Madonia, might as well. At least do the between stuff before and workers. Kitty. Oh, greetings, this night. Come to look in on our friends. Rest assured, everyone is quite well. I've been keeping a close eye on them and have satisfied myself that they are all in fine health. As a matter of fact, they've just. They're just about to convene in Dawn's respite to discuss how to best use their pent-up energy. Orgy? I mean, no. Let's join them, shall we? Alizé's quest. Two are still underage. Shoo. <laughs> well, my friends. Now that we have all settled back into our bodies, it is time we resumed our duties in earnest. Let us speak of our plans. Ever since the Emperor's death, it's been one unsettling rumor after another. I've a mind to pay a visit to Garlemald to ascertain the truth of the matter. A prudent endeavor. Tis of the essence that we establish the full extent of the threat. 
Not least if it should prove that Xenos doth indeed orchestrate events from the shadows. I mean, it's not just him. In light of which possibility, I shall accompany thee on thy mission. Uh, boys not out? Cool. Be assured that thou shalt find me more a help than a hindrance. Thou requirest another to imbue thine ammunition, dost thou not? You know, I was making a boys' night out kind of joke, but, uh, we could go there too. Assuming that's settled, there's something I've been meaning to look into as well. Welcome back, everyone! Did they change your voice actress out? They're gonna be best bros. Okay, fun. Lise! You're fine now, right? Okay. No more headaches or keeling Same over. voice. No promises. That's right. We're fighting fit and raring to go. Well, it could be because they were re doing voice recording at their homes. The famous Lise Hext, former Scion and hero of the Alamegan Resistance. D don't fanboy too hard. I don't believe we've met. No. Really? It's so easy to assume that all Archons are acquainted. But then I suppose your fields of expertise are rather different. And she was just pretending to some degree be an Archon. Grahatir, at your service. I have read much and more about your exploits, Commander. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Fanboy it is! Likewise. The others told me all about you. Do not be so sure. Words scarcely do justice to the vital role he played in our victory in the first. A more dependable comrade one would be hard-pressed to find. Is she? Because the knives out. <laughs> oh, right. I did glance at the report, uh, but I'd be lying if I said I understood half of it. Well, well, that's a lot to take in. Um, just to be clear, this means we're not heading for another calamity, does it? I know, right? And also, we're always heading towards another calamity. It's just that specific one was stopped. Shorn of their unsundered master's leadership, what Asians remain shall struggle to see their plans to fruition. I beg to differ if they're crazy enough. And though I would ever advise caution, I believe we may rest easy for a time. I'll take that as a yes. Even so, I don't know what to make of this business about Hydaelyn and Zodiac being primals. I know, right? Stabbing it fixes all my problems. Yes, but at last we understand the nature of our adversary. And if there are no further calamities, Neither will there be rejoinings, meaning Zodiac will never regain his full strength. Even so, as the oldest and mightiest of primals, he remains a force to be feared. Uh, okay, I should Though expect- Though okay. power born of the desire for salvation, we have seen the havoc it may wreak, and it falls to us to ensure that it is I mean, it is called end walker bear upon this star things have to end but tell us Lise, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit i mean she could be just stopping by to say hi how are you doing since I heard all that kind of stuff, and I hear you're awake, or she's bringing stuff that she needs us to do. What do you mean? Isn't seeing my long-lost comrades reason enough? Mm. Alright, there was one other matter. 
I have a message from the Alliance. And before you ask, yes, it's about the Empire. Oh, surprise, surprise! So, after Emperor Varus's assassination, it seems his cousin Nerva made a bid for the throne. The trouble is, he wasn't the only one with designs on it, and it didn't take long for a civil war to break out. And it's not just in the provinces. Early reports say huge swathes of the Imperial capital have been reduced to rubble. Oh, shame. The Alliance He's got some, yeah, Nerva. ...to decide on a course of action, and we were hoping you'd come along. In other words, I sit there and nod, right? Look stoic and nod. Well, as it happens, Uriange and I were just this moment planning a little trip to Garlemald. And we should be grateful for any advice the Alliance can provide on how best to make the most of our visit. To Alamigo, then. Why don't you go on without me? There's something I need to look into. Baga? Uh, 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 bagu? Uh, no, it's... Bu uh, 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 Gabu. Gabu, I think. Oh, forgive me. You were just telling us. What is it, if I may ask? Gabu. I want to find a way to cure the tempered. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking along the lines. Of course. You think it may be possible to adapt the treatment you used to help those corrupted by the Sin Eaters? I had that idea last time we were actually doing the questline stuff. Because I was thinking that it's kind of similar- I'm Sorry, a cure for tempering? But that would change everything. Alizé, consider yourself uninvited. Go and find us this cure. I'll do my best. I was hoping you might join me. Don't worry if not, though. I won't hold it against you if you'd rather attend a stuffy meeting. So, sweetie, as much as that lets me see Sir Elmerick and stuff, um, and his, you know, second-in-command Lucia, um, I'm thinking this is more important. For once. Also, it's a stuffy meeting, so we probably couldn't talk anyways. Also, I wouldn't begin to see my admirable. Either, but I mean, I, I could deal with that. I knew you'd say yes. I'll come too. If you don't mind, that is. Oh, sweetie. More the merrier. Also gets you away from lies. Mind? I'm sure they would be glad of your company. Pray, enjoy your time together with your hero. My... no, no. That's not... I mean, I... I, I simply thought my knowledge might be of some use. Head pats. <laughs> Nobody fucking believes, we shall but be I believe in you. Then. Godspeed. If I get to spend time with Grahatia, I'm fine. If I miss Sir Aramek for a while and Admiral Lady. Look, my harem needs equal attention here. Don't want to think I have favorites. Don't worry, I can say with some complete confidence that Grahatia is dressed for anything. I know, I love his outfit. <sighs> when your stola is about, no one cannot afford even the slightest slip. I know, right? <laughs> He did absolutely head pat. Also, pat other areas, but I mean, only if he asks. When I set up to save Gra- uh, I mean, Halric, I thought Gabu was always- I think Gabu was always in the back of my mind. Having pr proved that the light corrupted are not lost, I am convicted- uh, convinced the same that must be true of the tempered. Similar to those corrupted by, corrupted by Sin Eaters, the Aether of Gabu's soul has been rendered stagnant. And though the root cause is different, perhaps the solution is the same. It is no means an unreasonable hypothesis, Alizé, and it warrants full investigation. And the nice thing about that is once you no longer have tempered people among the um, beast tribes, they'd probably be more willing to listen. <laughs> though there is the possibility of, you know, other people, you know, using that kind of listen thing to still walk all over them and force them. You know. Kind of like, how many treaties did we make with the Native Americans? 
If there's even a chance we can say Gabu, we have to try. But however as much as I'd like to race over to Limza and set to work, there's no room for recklessness. Not when a child's life is at stake. Um... But the whole thing of saying that, you know, we'll abide by our, um, treaties. I mean, it's not just the Native Americans we've done it. It's a lot of different places that we said that we wouldn't do stuff and then proceed to do. And, like, say CIA or FBI, you know, not doing anything bad anywhere at all. Secret Wars. I'm sure Beck Lug would remind us we still know little and less about the soul. Any number of things could go wrong if we don't exercise due caution. And so, before attempting anything, we should... Learn all we possibly can about tempering. There's just one problem. Research into the condition has long since ground to a halt, and the combined work of many scholars involved doesn't exactly amount to a wealth of knowledge. Not the modern scholars, perhaps, but what about their ancient counterparts? I know the Allegans took a more than passing interest in the subject. Go back into the... Uh, and if we were to seek is to be found anywhere. It should be at the Aether... Aetherochemical Research Facility? Yeah, why didn't that have anything in the original first uh, source when everything went down? Did anybody try and get up there? To that floating facility? Where they experimented on primals and their worshippers, yes? I mean, we're talking about the future that we no longer let to pass. Never actually been there myself, but I did read reports on, uh, za za la la Which will be needing an airship. Oh, look, Sid. <laughs> an airship, you say? Maybe at the northern bank of Sil Silver Tier Lake. I got a little surprise for you. Oh, and come prepared to travel. I'm quite sure it won't be a little surprise. Is anybody else in here so I could talk to them, or are they all left, officially? Yeah. Let's see if anybody has anything new. Oh, no. Alright, I remembered... I'm gonna real quickly run... Over here to... Help the dwarves real quick for that weekly mission. But no, first thing I'll do for tomorrow's stream... The fact that they had to actually announce that there's a DDoS attack... Means that it's a lot worse than expected. <laughs> so, um... Because normally they'd keep quiet about something like that. To not give it attention. I don't think it's particularly safe right now to do any kinds of... Raids. And if worse comes to worse, I... End up having to do a dungeon for this. Um... I mean, for the main storyline, it, it'll be with NPCs anyways, which wouldn't be as bad. Um, but I can always, you know, I was thinking about going back and doing... Uh, ...quests in Gridania. You know, not just the blue ones, but the... ...other side stuff as well. Just... Yeah. All that grinds is not gloom. We're gonna keep making Lord of the Rings references, aren't we? Um, ready for another foray, are you? Well, if it wouldn't be too much of a bother... Oh, excellent! How dare I? Excellent! Let our ex honorable march towards failure continue! Well, that's the spirit. So, do you recall the mechanism that you brought in back last time? Unfortunately, they were rather er, far gone, and I can't salvage much of them. Do you think you could bring back some more of the same? Consider it done. 
Thank you with the bits of extra specimens. We think we can put together something useful, even if we're inevitably doomed to fail. I repeat, that's the spirit. The brighter side of death. What's that song that I'm dying, uh, I'm forgetting from, uh, the uh, Monty Python thing. Uh, one of the skit movies. The Brighter Side of Life or like Death or something. It's the final song, I think. Uh, nope, that's not what. Yeah, look on the bright side of life. That one, yeah. It's been forever since I've... Sorry, I switched to this because I can do that. And since I can't teleport around. Passage of Zoe 01 will basically take me all the way back. And I'm... Um, no. No matter how many times uh, I feel it gets old, I always like to bring up also the not being seen skit I always mentally giggle every time you know they say oh you're going to um You know, sneak around and do this. I might actually like do a ca closed captioning kind of thing of those scenes to play that occurs to me. I probably won't remember that it occurs to me whether I should do this or not when I reach a thousand, you know, followers and said that I'd play um, a syndicate, um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, is like anytime, like, <laughs> have the like a GIF play of a certain scene of that. Anytime I'm, you know, the power of not being seen except when I fail. Or something similar along those lines. And like fail epically at it. And die because I've been seen. You know, I shouldn't really announce that and just have it play during the, um, stream when I do it, if I remember to do it, but hey. If I remember, and I'm not sure how many people will go back and watch it. <laughs> or watch this to see that that's a thing I stated about doing. We'll see. Oh, right, I have to be. Oh, I actually have to be the same. Okay. Yes, ah yes, but this is the same as last time. This will just suffice for our purposes, thank you. You know, I've been feeling a little bit more optimistic in spite of myself. By keeping occupied with our work, I find my mind doesn't stray towards doom and gloom as often as it used to. It seems it's better to take action than be idle with negative thoughts. If only one so hard to take action in the first place. Well, I should be getting back to my work. Perhaps you could bring the report to the chief in case he has other tasks that want doing. And thanks again for bringing my parts. That's fire. What's fire? What's fire? The accent? The, uh, sl slaughtering accent? Lala, just the sinner I've been looking for, oh. Another one of those record devices has arrived, Kanog. 
Seems the lad has more he wants to say to you. Here. When you have a moment, be sure to see what's in it. On it. On it. You there. Who's saying? Oh, it is an Austin Dwarf. Yes, the two of you! What are you doing talking and noting suspiciously? What are you up to? You're conspiring to take over the village, aren't you? Just like those murderous machines. Huh? What am I? What did I just... Uh, my head? Something's not right with Glag. It's not quite the same sort of not right that follows few too many chaoses of ale. Well, well, whatever it is, there's nothing you need to worry about. I'll take care of it. Sure. Now then, was there something else you needed? How's the rebuilding coming along? Um, well, uh... Excuse me? You, what do you want? Are you here to mock us? Have you done it with you've d have done with it and believe us be? No, no, I'm not here to mock you. On contrary, I want to join you. I'm usually not the one to get involved, preferring to observe from a safe distance while making the occasional comment to remind people of my presence. But seeing how hard she's been working for the village, I couldn't help but want to make myself useful for a change. Well, we certainly could use all the help we could get. What do you say, Ishnai? Shall we welcome him to the crew? I mean, you know him more than I know him. Thank you. I'm certain you won't regret it. We'll see. My kindness has kicked my ass multiple times. After the strangers with Gug, I wasn't sure what to expect from our other friend, but it sure wasn't an offer to help. Anyways, I'll find a moment to talk with the fellow about our plans, and when he's managed to settle in, you have to have a word with him too. But to answer your early question, there's nothing we need for you right now. Only a matter of time before he calling you again though, so kick your feet up while he can. I, I won't be kicking my feet up, I'll be doing other things. Weekly quest, yep. Seeing a message. Not yet available. Cool. I mean... Halfway true. I mean, we don't have to... You know, there's walls. There's... Other ways to do it without kicking my feet up. But that, that, that too, Aramuk. Um, Astinian, Lucia... Yustola... I mean, we do know a float magic, don't we? I have enough mages here to do stupid stuff with. Float jobs, yes! <laughs> See, that's what magic can figure out some fun things to do. See, I know gravity! Th though it is for damaging, I could probably use the anti-gravity stuff. Oh, would you look at that, a ship. Oh, look at your little outfit! With... You look adorable! You coming with? Did you learn how to, uh, be a pilot? Nope, there's a pilot on there. I've given you the... Bonanza, the Scion's very own airship. Bu I built her as a company project with the help of our friends at the Rising Stones and named her for luck and prosperity. 
I noticed. Tataru, this this is amazing. We'll be able to fly just about anywhere we want. Our garments were impressive enough, but to build an entire airship? I see the Annals did not exaggerate the many talents of the Scion's favorite favorite uh, fabled coin keeper. <laughs> I'd also introduced myself as your pilot, except the training didn't go quite as well as I hoped. Oh, but that's all right, because we've hired this capable fellow here instead. Does he actually have a name? Or is he just pilot? I love that hair! Can we get that hair? I know, right? <laughs> the Bonanza is equipped with a full uh, complement of mana cutters, by the way. Feel free to use them to get around... Uh, blah, 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 blah. But enough talk, time to fly. All aboard? You mean the barrier went back up? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe legal reasons. Do I ever... Did I ever mention I was fond of flying? Because I am. Been... Be it on an airship, an armoro, or a chocopo, there's nothing so exhilarating as feeling the wind on your... Your face as the horizon unfolds before you. Oh, head pats. Honestly, Sid would be jealous of the way that ship flies. Tataru has outdone herself. Don't say that too loud. Sid might appear out of nowhere as he does to, uh, you know, hear that. Anyways, here we are uh, at the the castle in the clouds, and Alpha Nose report did not do the the scale of this place justice. Actually, I'm probably going to switch over to my red mage so they can get the XP. Though... Yeah, no, 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 no. I uh, thought about, you know, you know, I could get the other, you know, other jobs, unlock them so I could be leveling them up. While I'm doing this. So this is your rec- where you had your reckoning with Thornton. I wish I'd been with you. No, no you didn't. What level is this? It's 80. You know what? I will. I will. Uh, Viper or Pictomancer? Which one? And does it start at level 80? Officially? Worried Weaver. Uh, which one's which? No, I'm going with Viper. For right now. Mainly because I'm not touching Blue Mage for a while. So... This isn't directional attacks. Okay. Whole new adventurer! Enter the Viper. Woo! You're an adventurer, yes? No. There's a spot over... A bother over at the Weaver's Guild, and we could use a hand sorting it out. I was just there earlier in the stream! We received an order... For a full ensemble, but now that work's been completed, the client refuses to pay. Mind you, I had my suspicions from the start. He calls himself a viper of all things. In my experience, people who name themselves after snakes are not to be trusted. Ray is that's bigoted or racist? I can't pick it out. Um, in any case, he carries a pair of swords on his back, and I hate to think what will happen if he started wielding them in anger. Could you head over to the guild and smooth things over?
Well, we're about to learn on the go to some degree. Violently. Um, where's guilt? So I didn't realize my, uh, red mage was only 82. And my so-called viper, perplex weaver. Despite my best efforts to reason with him, he keeps going on and on about vipers or such. What am I to do? Good day to you, stranger. I was hoping I might make the acquaintance of someone a bit rougher around the edges. Someone who's seen her fair share of actions. Could you tell me what play is worth hunting in these here parts? Uh, have you any idea what he's talking about? I took no issue with fulfilling his order. But now it's time to, for him to pay, and it's as though we're talking at cross-purposes. Likewise, I don't... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... I don't understand. My fellow's got a, um... I ought to explain from the beginning. Uh, I'm from Toriel, a big continent on the other side of the west- salt west of here. Okay. The Uwu. Have that, a uh, redeem. So... Some of the ship's crew called it the New World, but there ain't nothing new about it. No, ma'am. We you find my village, home to the ancient art of the Viper. Our duty is to hunt ferocious beasts that endanger the lives of innocent folk. In fact, that's what brought me here. The thing is, all that fighting and long days on the road hasn't ain't been too kind to my gear. I guess we're gonna do it in Southern accent and like not the sweet Southern Bell one. Reckon it was high time to get me a new get up, bespoke and all. Fascinating, I'm sure. But why do you refuse to pay for your order? Or why are you in so insistent that I choose my prey? Cause how else am I supposed to pay you? You do us a favor and we'll hunt down any beast you want. That's the code. How we vipers do business. Uh, Reavers prefer a more conventional form of compensation. Is that so? So you're saying they want something else instead? Payment commiserates... Uh, commiserates with the skill and material required, in gill preferably. Well, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one coming. Guess that explains why a little misunderstanding. Be sure, but surely your countrymen trade in some sort of currency, yes? Or are you vipers so far removed from society as to be unaware of such concepts? <sighs> of course we know what money is. We ain't no bumpkins. But uh, when it comes to requisition of goods and services, I usually rely on the elders to deal with artisans and the like. Which is to say I ain't in the habit of carrying significant sums. So be it. <sighs> if it... If your only form of payment is a slaying a beast, that shall have to do. As it happens, one of my colleagues in the East la, 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 reports that merchants carrying su our supplies were attacked by a wild fiend. What's more, the creature is a species of many-headed scale skin, never s before seen in this region. At least it's a. I mean, I w I ran through all of them. <laughs> it's rumored to escape from the Colosseum, and running amok rampant ever since. Scaly, lot of heads. All right, you got yourself a deal. I don't care. I'm jumping around. Deal. Consider the guild has already fulfilled its end of the bargain. You should count yourself lucky. Still, I'd hate for anything to go awry at this juncture. Mayhap, I ask a favor of you, friends. I'd like you to, be to accompany him and ensure he intends to the creature as agreed. Besides, I dare say seeing a so-called viper at work will be an enlightening experience. 
I'm doing the wandering tour of the South accent. The name's Kish Kishkawa. Ple pleasure to meet you. The creature was last seen near Drybone Camp, so I advise you to begin there. Pray return to Camp Drybone. It would appear that Viperfellow has already departed for Camp Drybone. I do hope he knows the way, or at least has a good sense to ask for directions. Kishkiwa. So, this is Camp Drybone, huh? Bit of name. Anyways, you ready, huh? What's that look for? Oh, let me guess. You wanna, you wanna ask around first and see if anyone can point us in the right direction? I don't know what accent I'm going through right now. I, uh, uh, no need. The Weaver's friends told me plenty. All we gotta do is track down the beast, which is a, which is a viper specialty. Keep trying to make the plantation country accent rather than, you know, just a country accent. I am so sorry, y'all. Oh, it's cute! It went after the traders carrying the tailless materials. Bolts of cloth and whatnot don't sound no none too tasty to me, but I'm guessing it's the merchants themselves the beast has an eye on. Most predators use their sense of smell to pick out their meals. Since carry on the wind, so you gotta consider the positions of the rocks and plants to determine how the air tends to flow through an area. Ain't too hard to deduce what a creature's made when a where a creature's made its low after you've done all that. Slice and dice, slice and dice, slice and dice, slice and dice. Dicey, slicey, micey, kicey. Yep, there's a big one. Mean looking too. Must be wreaking havoc on the food chain. Never mind the danger it poses the locals. Well, time to do what a viper does best. Fireworks. With swords. D dual blades. Except shinier. That's it. So you like the show? Don't play coy. I can see you're intrigued. Before I spill all my secrets, I got a question for you. Ever heard of a Toriel vid... Qua? Qua? Thought not. Well, they're a rare breed of beast that wields all kinds of powers they got no right having. Like humans? A threat to every other living being that has the temerity to breathe in their vicinity. Because of their lifelong spans and unnatural abilities, they were dubbed Triumphs of Tyrael. More or less than what that name means. Are they dragons? Why don't I go get, you know, Falcord to talk to them? Anyway, someone's got to hunt the Tyrael Vidar. And that someone is us, the Vipers. Oh, so an Adepti. Cultivation soul thing. You know, I bet my far, uh, far, my fair few adventurers during my time here, but I can tell you're a cut above the rest. <laughs> yeah, cut. Might even have what it takes to be a viper. I don't, but I'm still gonna. To meet one, you get the option to answer his question. Okay. Nice. If you're interested, I can teach you one on one condition. You'll help me hunt down a uh, Turo Vidara that's made its way to Eorzea. What do you say? I say I already have an outfit picked out. Ha! Hell of a thing to ask out of the blue, I know. Just think on it some, will you? Let's head back to Udal. Tell that weaver fella we're square. The journey you'll give you time to consider my offer. Oh, 
You were nice enough to take me back here, kinda, sort of. Not all the way back, but part of the way back. Why couldn't you bring me all the goddamn way back? I just gave out Weaver friend the good news, and he handed over this set of fancy does as promised. Gotta say, it was worth the trouble. So, about my offer. You ready to become a viper and protect folks from the nastiest beast that ever lived? Mighty fine answer. I'll make a viper out of you. Just see if I don't. First order of business. Let me give you this here, this soul crystal. It contains the knowledge of our fighting arts. Passed down since ancient times from one generation of vipers to the next. Assuming you've got the knack for it. Our skills can be yours too. I've also got a fresh set of viper gear for you. The Weaver's Guild wanted to thank you for overseeing our hunt earlier, so they made you your very own outfit. Guess that fellow took your measurements by eye or something. Oh, the blades are a couple of spares I had handy. Try it all on for size and let me get a look at you while you're at it. I will suddenly become naked and then with clothes. Give me a second. See? Suddenly naked. <laughs> no, with clothes. That's not a bad look. I actually have a glamour plate designed for this. Though. No. Already. Viper sight. Still things are out there. Several weapons each. Corresponds with the outline. Hot bar. Seven com. I'll find a better top for it, though. Probably better pants eventually, but... <sighs> Master the art. So can I wander away and not actually finish this part? Since I have unlocked it? Okay, fine. It'll teach me how to use it, so I, I shouldn't. Alright. Let's put Fane up here. North is always put there. See, I will regret if I do what I'm thinking I want to do, so... Um... Which is wander off. Range tags usually go at four. That's a group attack. Takes what it master the arts. 
Sure looked the part. Do you feel any different? Wrong accent! <laughs> hey, I knew it. Sounds like you got what it takes to be a viper, but only one way to know for sure is to put the new skills to the test. For that, we'll need prey. From what I hear, you adventurers have got your own guild, so I'm guessing the folks there will know the best spots for hunting. Let's see what they can tell us. Probably gonna find better uh, boots and, I guess, top eventually, but for right now, I just really like the skirt. Not because I had a skirt very, very similar to that, with actual belt that looks like that, except not the feather things right there, but I mean the belt itself. I'm not biased, shut up. Oh, it's out front. It wasn't that short though, mind you. Actually, it's just a little bit longer than that. Knowledgeable adventurer. So you're after deadly predators, tri spineless basin. Lately, they've been sight. There's been sightings of a heretofore unknown species. Those that slaughter anything that moves, including travelers. What's worse, they work in packs. Even adventurers hired to call them end up meeting a st sticky end. Ew, sticky. Ew, sticky. Befuddled boy. I said I don't know anything about beasties. Who are you, anyways? Got a lead already? Huh, maybe there's something about this whole asking around thing after all. Ew. Critters from not around this part, you say? Either they got chased out of their usual habitat, or they're brewing here. Either way, that's bad news for us, for folks unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. I, I don't think we'll be that lucky. Or we may be lucky, I don't know. The hunting of Turvrual is the Viper's most important duty, but that doesn't mean we turn a blind eye to lesser threats. Next stop, Spineless Basin. I don't know what that man was on about. Who'd want to go looking for monsters anyways? Um, People with something wrong with them. And that includes me. <laughs> List of things that is wrong with me. Um, say, so I, I've worn all that stuff. In, in fact, I'm wearing a dress right now because I'm too lazy to try and find pants. Usually that, it adds up, is either... And I wear skirts when, um... Well, mostly I just wear dresses. These are, I mean, last time I wore a skirt most likely was when I was job seeking, or actually at the job. Um, these here adventurers ran into a whole- oh, wrong accent. These here get adventurers ran into a whole gaggle of the fiends we're after. Got pretty roughed up, but, but I saw their wounds already. Don't you worry. Before we go say hello to troublemakers, I reckon you ought to teach you about the Viper's dual blades. I mean, the problem with skirts and dresses? It's there's not enough pocket to them. Usually. Our techniques are cre were created for the sole purpose of killing Turil Vizral. Most of the me uh, mean of the varieties of things you might encounter in the wilds, often with special powers to boot. To stand a chance against these powerful enemies, our ancestors looked at Vipers for inspiration. Always twisting and turning to find the perfect angle to attack to take down bigger prey. These, this this dress has two pockets, and they're good pockets. They're nice deep pockets. Sorry. <laughs> I celebrate and love when I find dresses with pockets. Ah. Always twisting and turning to find the perfect angle of attack to take down bigger prey. Two blades for the twin fangs of a viper, wielded in tandem, and strike with precision. They can also be combined into a single weapon that weaves and sways like the body of a snake.
By switching between these stances, the Viper has the capacity to adapt to any situation. Yes, they are pockets! I'm putting my hands in the pockets now! Ha! Now, the prayer after the night doesn't... Ain't nowhere near as fearsome as a tutorial vidar... Well... But they'll give you a chance to test out your new skills. Could, let me know when you're ready. I mean, I'm ready as I'll ever be! Which is not... The beasts we're chasing supposedly work in packs. My gut tells me there's a whole bunch of them over by that big old tree. Which big old tree, though? There are any meaner beasties. They must be by another time. All I see here is fodder. Oh, good. Though, for practicing your new skill, those are fine. Murder! Murder! I'll stay out of your way and give you a few pointers. How will you let me step forward? God, let me murder them! Let me murder them! Let me murder them! Let me murder them! I mean... Start with the basics. Two stance. Dual Fang and Viper. Dual fang means building two blades separately. Start by using. Finish the quick switch back. Second and third. Okay, guess. Second and third. So. This? Oh, okay. So that's death rattle. He's not going to let me kill anymore, is he? Right now. Time to practice for opener strike. Pick one of the four. It's what works best from a certain position, don't worry. That now, flank, sting, hind, uh, yeah. That's not it. It's gonna be a flank. Did that okay?
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Slash slash. What combo I have to do for her? Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I think I killed enough of its friends that he decided to show up. Almost like it's telling them to clear out. There's a little bastard waiting. I guess it's up. As though it's smart enough for it. Check out the feeling that one will peak. Ah. Lucky for you, I've got just a thing for dealing with Loximus like them. I'll tell you about when you're ready. Hi. Fiber Sands combined to deliver. Perfect for a moment. Open with Vice when trans. It doesn't last very long, does it? It's understandable. Especially in this world. Can be followed by a hunter's coil. Roars keep getting closer. Boss Beast must be pissed. Its minions keep getting beat. Stink, skill, time recast, spell reduce, attack delays. Oh, it looks murderable. Time to take it. Take it down to Pega Three. Just remember what. 
You do, but still, you got all the tools you need to do so far, and no post should ever like the rest. Come on! Uh, let me fucking hit him before this thing is... This, um... That's a multi one. Yep. I figured since the DDoS attack stuff is having problems, I'd rather not try and raid with that. sure stunning is probably more important since the whole flank and stuff. So... Not bad, not bad at all. Those are just the basics. So you've got comfy, okay. Those are just the basics, but you're- Oh, wrong accent. Not bad, not bad at all. Those are just the basics, but your execution was mighty impressive. Since you've proven you won't be a liability, let me tell you about the theory of it all we'll be up again. We call it... The holy hell of the holy hell hell hells. I mean, um, we call it... Shigamajig. It's an offshoot of the Brax, a deadly jungle predator. After some series of mutations, this one's grown huge wings. Whereas yet, it's smart as a whip and mean as a streak of the mile and wide. After learning of the beast, me and my most promising student set off to slay it. Let me guess, the student's dead. Facing it head-on seemed like suicide, so we landed an ambush. It almost worked, too. Almost. How easily you took on another student. Thought we had it subdued, but made, a kind of, it made our approach to deliver the killing blow. But we underestimated the fiend's cunning kind of nature. When we got close, it lashed out, quick as lightning, before taking to the skies. It, I cradled my brother in arms as he breathed his last. Look, I, I, I ruin even English words, so, um, we have that. Revenge is all I've been able to think about ever since. I traveled the length and breadth of Tilbury looking for that beast, with nothing to show for it but a half a dozen pairs of ruined boots. With each passing day, I grew more and more desperate.
That was until I met some folks who crossed the salt, uh, the salt on the trade ship from Muda. They claimed they see a huge winged beast flying eastwards across the ocean. Knowing how clever, um, Ik Suk is, I reckon I go and search for a new hunting ground somewhere without an established that like us vipers. So I bought a passage on a ship, and here I am. Little did I know Eorza would be damn near as big as Toriel. I'm a fish out of water and I'm afraid I can't admit it. I'm not afraid to admit it or that I'm going to need all the help I can get. That's where you come in. With you on my side, I might just stand a chance of avenging my fallen comrades. What do you say? Also, I think quite me doing a Spanish accent might be a bit racist. So we're going with the southern one. Thanks. That means a lot. Let's go back to Uda and see if we can't find some clues as to uh, Thingamajig's location. Over by the However, French accents will always be made fun of the end. As you saw at the Weaver's Guild, chatting up folks ain't my strong suit. If you're happy to take the lead, I'm happy to follow, at least for now. Think you could ask the locals if they spot any strange creatures flying around? As for me, I'll study your technique. See if I can't brush up on my social graces and whatnot. You're asking an autistic person. Keep me on your side in order to proceed with us. Entering a different area. One company conversation points. Um, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, bye, abandons you till I have to come back and do a story for you. See, th this is what you have to understand, sir. I do this all the time. All the goddamn time. Like, I make promises to my, you know, um... Crafting teachers that this is all I'm gonna live, sleep, and, you know, dream about, and proceed to dream about cat boys. And this appears to be the helix, uh, which means we stand at the alpha quadrant. To the east lies the beta quadrant, and... Yes, I believe I have my bearings. Though this is my first time on the floating fortress, I do have some familiarity t with places thanks to the records of in the crystal tower. Unless I am mistaken, this path leads to an aetherite, beyond which there will be an information terminal. I suggest we begin our search there. If there's any instance area, I'm turning into my red mage, but I'm just doing this now. And like I said, if there's uh, enough DOS, DDoS attacks tomorrow, I will find a different game for us to play, so... Time for authority on uh, elegant artifacts to show us what he can do. And here's the terminal. A moment while I search the archive for references to temp... Tempering. 
I mean, we could ask, you know, the locked up dragon also. She was the one who first summoned Bahamut. Ah, there we are. Iconic corruption. An overview. That sounds promise. Sing. Indeed, let us see what this report has to say. I'm confounded. The contents seem to be deleted. What? No! Isn't there something you can do? Backups? Not from here, I'm afraid. But it may be another copy of the report exists some elsewhere. The question is where to look. It says here the report was written by someone named Owen, and it's likely that he kept a copy? I would say it, that it's a distinct possibility. Assuming he was a researcher here, he would have had quarters in the Havisphere. We can ascertain the details of the Havisphere control. Let us return to the Bonanza uh, and avail ourselves of its mana cutters. We will need them to reach our destination. I forgot... You already have suitable means of transportation, don't you? No need to waste time accompanying us back to the ship, then. We'll see you at the Havisphere. Thank you, God! They've learned. I was about- I was about to say. Um, but... Let's see if they're by the ship anyways. Can I talk to the pilot? No. Pilot doesn't even have a goddamn name. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? All the way over there. Bam bam. Ba 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 ba. Will this be another administrative node that tries to kill us like the other one did? Ha ha ha. The mana cutters appear to be ironworks made, but I dare say Tataru will craft her own soon enough. Administrative note of. Just welcome to the Havisphere. How may I assist you? If the late Owen did indeed have a chamber here, this node will be able to tell us its number. There. From what I recall of the layout, it should be somewhere in the vicinity of... Hmm. Warning. An evacuation order is presently in effect. Entry to the Habisphere is not permitted at this time. Boiled again. In all likelihood, the order would have been imposed during the fourth Umbral Calamity, and I doubt it would be lifted near future. Oh, good. So, destroying things again. This is energy level critical. Returning to base for char recharging. Well, surely there must be some other way to gain access. Force, for example. Thank you, Alize. Um, uh, we, ere we resort to that, I have an idea. Where we just send a surge of energy through yonder control mechanism, it should prompt the system to restart, releasing the locks. As for a suitable energy source, a concentrated lightning shard might suffice. Happily, I seem to recall that there are known to form points of stagnation, stagnant aether throughout the continent. Do you seem to recall? Are you honestly telling me that was in the records too? 
Nerd! I have nothing to say besides that, sweetie. Ah, uh, <laughs> I am. A report sent to the capital mentioned that lightning aspected Aether was prone, prone to pooling on the continent, resulting in surges that interfere with equipment. A minor detail, I grant you, but in my role as caretaker of the crystal tower, there's no such thing as too much elegant knowledge. Besides, my studies help me feel connected to the source, to home. I must have explored this facility a thousand times in my mind, but to finally stand here with the two of you, it is more exhilarating than I can well express. Nerd. But it's fine. Now then, the lightning shard. If I may, I suggest we split up and search the beta quadrant. Oh, but beware of sprites. They are want to manifest where the aether is stagnant. Now you're just showing off, which makes me think we should make a contest of this. First to return here with the shard wins, what do you say? Very well, it would be my honor to come in third. <gasps> Tia! Sweetie, hun! always be one of the number ones in my harem. See, I, I can't, you know, over favoritism this. I know, right? <laughs> Amazing. Let the ladies come first. Damn. Gentlemen. around here. I know, but not a lot of people actually do that, so... Okay. Stagnant. People all together actually know to think about it. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, good answer. You hitting all the buttons? Yes. No, wait. That was quite a show and adventurer. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of the prize slipped my mind. Grahatia? You're, you're joking. This isn't Grahatia, though. I fear to forfend our little, forfeited our little race. Congratulations, the Ushard is yours. What, no dramatic entrance? You've changed. Is it really Grahatia, though? Oh, ball of adorable! Ah, you remember that? In the eye of defense, I was caught up in the moment. Isn't every day we meet an honest-to-god hero, after all? Well, the contest continues, so you better hurry back. Ah, uh, but one last thing. Thank you, Ishnai, for bringing me here. You asked to come? Why would I stop you? Since Alize isn't here, what a kiss. Ha ha ha. He needs a hug, though. Either way. Either way, he needs a hug. Nerd. Adorable nerd. Ah! Hey, 
You have the shard, then you win. I searched high and low, but couldn't find so much as a trace of stagnant aether. Well, then again, I've been here too many more times than you. It appears Alizé has had no luck, so the victory is yours. Congratulations, then... Now then, may I have the shard? You're acting like you weren't there with me. That we didn't... You know, come together. <coughs> Sai, what is it that makes you so better at finding things? What do you have that I don't? Uh, main protagonist energy. That is a question I too have off I too have asked myself on numerous occasions. I suspect we could both learn a great deal from Ishnai, not only about the secrets of and not only about the secrets of adventuring. Oh, oh. Did you want more secrets besides the secrets of adventuring? Word and number. Fifteen stream. Pin. Pin. Or 15 pin. 15 pin? Am I... Oh! Oh, I get it! I get it! Oh! <laughs> I'm slow! I'm slow! Penis. Okay. Okay. But come, we should um, attend to our mission. Yes, I know, it is very easy. And as much as I have, you know, a hint I mind, sometimes it really miss. 5 2. Excellent, the system responded exactly as intended. Now we have access to the habisphere. Only one obstacle remains the security system within. Should they be triggered, you could make life rather difficult for us. In light of which, pray, leave the rest to me. <laughs> if I'm right, my royal blood should allow me to venture in unmolested. So many jokes, so little time for that statement, Tia. Assuming this place works like Crystal Tower, yes, but if it doesn't, you'll be on your own. I want you to promise us you'll get out at the very first sight of trouble. Am I going to control him? I promise. Wish me luck. Well, nothing for it but to sit tight. And if you hear screams, run to the direction of said screams. <laughs> yeah, like that scream. I was thinking if I had, uh, if the DOS attacks continued for tomorrow of whether I want to play Phasmophobia. I haven't done it in forever, though. I'm sure this Owen fellow was, ru is, was very learned, but... Iconic corruption? An overview sounds like a studium thesis. We all had to write one. Lest you wonder, mine was about the combat applications of Aether. I'm nothing if not practical. Alphano was more philosophical, philosophical, of course. Political, I dare say it. He chose to write a dis lengthy discord on our nation's duty to the world. A controversial subject, to say the least. I, I noticed. Alright, thank you for coming in, Rose! He asserted that the Charlian's knowledge should rightly be used to protect all life on the star, in direct opposition to the country's cherished policy of non-intervention. Being a leading member of the Forum, our father was not happy. At the time, of course, Alphano was utterly convinced of his views and would cheerfully argued into the death with anyone who saw things differently. Which, I mean, the rows were long. <laughs> to be fair for to him, though, he has since learned to be a little more open-minded. But deep down, he still holds fast to the that one belief, and I admire him for it. I should have liked to meet the young Alphano, for what it's worth. My thesis concerning the Allegan civilization... Uh, I should have liked to meet the young Alphano. I mean, he had his charms, but not... Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed charms, but at the same time... Kind of annoying. 
For what it's worth, my thesis concerned that Allegan civilization is depicted in folklore. Of course it did. Oh, you're back! I didn't know you attended the studium. I didn't. A thesis was required to earn my Archon's mark. Archon's mark. My peers and the students of Baelson convinced me to write one with the promise of unfettered access to forbidden tomes. Nerds! Oh, I love both of you, though. Though, I considered it no more than a means to an end at the time. I'll admit, it was gratifying to have my efforts acknowledged. Good gods! An Archon's thesis? I shudder to, to imagine the work involved. But enough about that. Is this your four-way... Uh, is it this, this the fruit of your foray? Yes, Owen's archive node. It was waiting for me in his chamber. If a copy of his report still survives, it would be stored on this device. Shall we find out? Initializing, scanning for registered user. User not found. To proceed as a guest, please complete biometric authentication. Beeping. Verify. Ping. Authentication complete. Guest identified as royal, a member of the royal family. I am at your most humble service, your highness. Yeah! Um, it ceases to amuse, never ceases to amuse me, but tis a pity the effect will not last forever. Donga and Unga said, uh, Uda said as much when they granted me this gift. But until such time it fades, I shall use it gratefully. Oh yeah, one of your eyes is gonna turn- It's only one of your eyes that's, uh, red, normally. Search archive for iconic corruption. Searching. One found. Iconic corruption. An overview. I guess that's gonna be a storyline for the next expansion. The report is locked by the author. Please state password. Well, go on then, your highness. Tell the nice node the password. Uh, the... right. Let's see. Glory be to Aliga. Long live the Emperor Zane. Password incorrect. Please try again. Confound it! Come now, passwords are invariably short and simple, for instance. Oh god. Oh god. Do you have to do a pose with that? Password. I mean... No, you got it right. It's password one, two, three. The notion that the password could be something so inane would be laughable if not so dangerously stupid. Furthermore, your conduct in the presence of His Highness is grossly inappropriate. Know your place, handmaiden. What did that thing just call me? Bob Rose. Password incorrect. Again, be warned that any further inappropriate behavior in the presence of His Highness will not be tolerated. So if I start making out with the, His uh, Highness, what would be your response to that? If it's alright, I say we dismantle it and manually extract what we need. Now, now. <laughs> One way to find out. I know, right? Let's not be too hasty. A single misstep and we will risk losing it, the report altogether. I believe this may be a task for Sid and his colleagues. If anyone can coax a Mechana to, into cooperating, it is them. So Sid has the magic touch? Come, let us bear the note back to the Rising Stones. Nice. 
Fine, I'll let Sid try his hand first. But if that doesn't work, we're doing it my way. Uh, threat detected. <laughs> At least the note acknowledges it. I should probably mention that I've yet to meet, meet Sid since waking up. Ramboros did send word to the Ironworks, but it appears our friend has been afield in, on urgent business that I'm currently not doing with the Omega stuff. He tempts every... that every pixel... I... I mean... Y yes. Yes. <laughs> Nevertheless, I assure you my proposal to seek his help ha is no pretext. However, as much I might look forward to seeing him again, he and everyone. But come, let us be on our way. Well, it hasn't been long... I mean, I know you have part of the 200... however many year old self in there, but... <laughs> look at him! All but running. How sweet. I know! It's adorable! Still, I wouldn't keep it waiting, shall we? All but running. Trying to hold back the run. I'm not excited. I'm not excited like a kid in a, I mean, a, kid in a candy store. No, not at all. <laughs> ah, Tia. Adorable. Are they gone? Still doing the... No, they're still doing that. I take it you have news to share. So do I. It's pleased to see your mission was a success, in no small part due to the bonanza. Bonanza. Kiri is back too. I wonder what was decided at the council. You still think danger? Large boat... Large low-born presence detected. Bitch! Uh, oh. Wonderful news, Ishnai. Tataru contacted Sid on our behalf, and he is on his way here, even as we speak. While we wait, I should very much like to hear what transpired at the Alliance Council. Would you be so kind, Kiri? As you know, we have serious music happening. The meeting was convened to discuss how to best respond to the events in Garlemald. According to the intelligence from our Doman allies, the war of succession rages on, and the Empire remains without a leader. Amidst the chaos, the Imperial Legions in Providence have begun to move independently of the Motherland. Of greatest concern is the Third, a uh, legion aligned with uh, Lord Nerva. It is, appears they have received substantial financial backing from the House Brutus. Etu? Bad joke. Brutus, aren't they the one who took in Yusuyu and uh, uh, Asshat? This bodes well. Zeno's movements, meanwhile, remain shrouded in mysteries. We are hoping that the Thancred and Eriange will be able to shed some light on his activities when they return. Until such time as they do, the Allied leaders feel it would be unwise to interfere in the conflict. And so, thanks in part to the Imperial withdrawal from uh, Grim... Well, Grimlet, they have decided to turn their attention to the primal problem once more. Working with the friendly factions among the Beast Tribes, they hope to reopen dialogue and explore new avenues for peace. Given the timing, I suspect they wish to put their respective houses in order, and head of a clash, decisive clash with the Empire. Whatever their intent, this is not a problem easily solved. The Luminians, in particular, struggle in their efforts, and Alphano and Yusola have been called upon to aid them. So as long as we're dealing with the Tempered, I'm afraid no amount of dialogue will avail us. But if we can develop a treatment for tempering, then anything is possible. Which is why we must succeed. 
On that cheery note, why don't make yourself comfortable in Dawn's respite? I'll show Sid in as soon as he arrives. I mean, there are beds in there. Ahem. Alize is still too young, though. I understand you took a little trip to uh, Flying Fortress. Raha made himself useful, I trust. Yes. You made it the respite clo cozier than ever. You're gonna love it. You took out the beds? He took out the beds! Oh, no, wait, the beds are over there. <clears throat> I guess this is cozier. Wait. Now, poor, as important as Gabu is to me, I know all, only too well how much more is at stake here. A cure could change the whole world. <sighs> Sid, at long last. Warning, His Highness is exhibiting elevated blood pressure. <laughs> come on, come on. I know you want to run up and hug him. Sid! Forgive us for not coming to see you sooner, my friend. As you may have heard, we've had our friend our hands full. In our defense, you are up rather early. I was under the impression you'd be slumbering a while longer. Oh, I would have been had you not fulfilled your promise. Ha! <laughs> I still struggle with that idea. From where I stand, the secrets of traversing, traversing time and space are, seem exactly as unfathomable as they ever did. But if an alternative version of myself had, has already laid them bare, I dare say that frees me up to concentrate on other endeavors. Speaking of which, you wanted my help with something? What is it? The note is being mean to us. Hit it. Well, well, a treatment for tempering. And for the next step, you need to find the password to this Allegan's report. Just so, with nary a clue to guide us, we should could be here forever, and still not guess correctly. Thus, we turn to you. Well, I'd love to say I could help you. I'd love to say we could help you, so I will. Once suitably configured, a Magitech terminal should make short work of identifying the password. I knew I could rely on you. Now, anticipating that might be of use, I took the liberty of borrowing a tombstone. Uh, I mean, t tombstone from. Rambaros. It contains an elegant dictionary. The twinning? Twining? The what the? Twinning? Good thinking. I'll transfer the information to a terminal to set it to work right away. No. I guess I'll look into that. Uh, it looks like it's finished. Let's see. Freedom. The password's freedom. Ha, huh, short and simple. Like, just as I said. Would you care to do the honors, your, honors, your highness? I would, my lady. So that's how the time and space really thing happened. Nice. Note, open the report entitled Iconic Corruption Overview Password Freedom. Opening report. I really shouldn't be surprised since Alexander was the time one. Had memories from the source too. Fun! Oh, cute boy. Um, This report seeks to prove Provide an overview of the mechanism by which icons uh, corrupt and bind men to their will. Obi-Wan, Kenobi! I mean, 
The phenom phenom num 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 we call corruption refers to the alteration of the aether of the soul. Said aether ordinarily exists in equilibrium, no one element being more prominent than another. They had their heart stolen. They had their heart stolen! But when a subject is exposed to the aether of an icon, this changes, their soul taking on the properties of the entity in question. Kind of like how Sin Eaters were light. By way of an example, exposure to the aether of the fiend Sephiroth... That doesn't look like a Sephiroth. Yeah, I know it's Sephiroth, but not Sephiroth, but uh... Would cause the subject's aether to become aligned with the element of Earth. Good that he picked Earth rather than uh, any of the others since we're trying to uh, Gabu's Titan. As consequence, the subject would attain um, heightened affinity with Earth aspects, magics, as well as the pre, uh, per natural levels of endurance. Repeat exposures would further enhance these traits, ultimately altering the subject's very flesh. Oh. It, be, it, it became Terra. The changes undergo by the subject are not solely attributable to elemental alignment, however. Further testing is determined that the subject's soul becomes uh, umbrally charged or stagnant during the process. The, stag the stagnation of the soul has the effect of diluting the sense of self, rendering the subject vulnerable to the will of the icon. Um, and thoughts of whom come to consume their entire existence. Does that also mean we can change over the Asians that are left over, the less powerful ones? In this matter, does the corrupted become worshippers of the icon, their prayers serving to further empower the entity? Having discerned the mechanism of icon corruption, uh, my colleagues and I have set out to develop a material capable of shielding one from its effects. An endeavor which we were successful, albeit at great cost. In the course of testing, many of my assistants, good men and women, all fell victim to corruption. In accordance with the protocol, they were summarily put to death. I subsequently submitted a proposal to investigate potential cures for corruption, but was rejected, deemed non-essential, by Lord Amon. Though I knew it would be fruitless, I protested the decision, and for my impotence, I have been stripped of rank and title, and will shortly be expelled from this facility. Oh, good timing that, you know, we got this, uh, you put this here before all that happened. In all likelihood, this report will be expunged from the archives. Like, they didn't clean out his apartment yet. Nevertheless, I record it in hopes that one day someone will undertake to do which I could not. And find a cure for victims of iconic corruption. End recording. So, not even the Alligans were able to find a cure. Or rather, were not given the chance to do so. One cannot help but wonder what motivated Lord Amon's decision. Where to start? More importantly, this confirms the stagnation of the soul is indeed a problem. And Angelo can remedy that. True, yet we were simply... Were we to simply reanimate a tempered soul, I fear it will do not to diminish the individual's fanatical faith. Indeed, it may very well intensify it. No, we would somehow need to suppress the primal's hold over the subject at the same time, or r risk them ever remaining its thrall. Arriving their soul, unless we can restore their sense of self. Remember, Simba! Oh, sorry. If only we could make them remember who they were. But of course, memory transference. The process has the effect of car... Pin, uh, car... Harm. Compartmentalizing. I don't know why my mind decided not to be able to say that word. Uh, memory. Separating into manageable bundles, if you will. 
By adapting the technique, it may be possible to achieve selective reanimation. That is, limit the effects to those on to only those memories that existed prior to the tempering. Though this restoring self sense of self, we could theoretically drown out the incitements of false faith which had come to dominate the individual's thoughts. I see. The theory seems sound, and our experience treating the light corrupted would help us to identify a suitable memories for reanimation. But are you confident you can adapt memory transference as required? I seem to recall your attempts to do so while trying to bring us home culminated in literal bloodletting. They did, you are right. Despite my best efforts, I could not recreate the mechanism. And I conceded that a rather clumsy compromise I reached would not provide the basis for a cure. Then perhaps it's better we consider another approach. Your doubts are understandable, but this time I believe we have reason to be confident. You see, the nodes such as this were built with the ability to s simulate magics. Which leads me to believe that it may be capable of performing simulations of the transference technique. If so, we would be able to conduct years' worth of tests within the space of a few days. We're Nahidi Nahidaing this shit. And the, uh, what, uh, Samsaraing it, too. Um, in theory, it would be no different from how we identified the password. But it'll take more calculating power, a lot more. Honestly, I couldn't say whether our equipment would be up to the task. Tell me, Sid. Why do you suppose Owen locked his report behind a password? To keep from prying eyes, of course. Why else? Wait. A password that could be guessed by anyone with leisure and a dictionary wouldn't keep it from a person minded to look. Yes, we are. Absolutely. No, he wanted this report to be seen by those who strive for freedom. Not unlike the members of a certain distinguished engineering collective, I believe their motto was freedom through technology, or such. Some such. You two, round up as many Magitech terminals as you can find and bring them to the workshop. No, we're render farming this shit. Alright, right away, Chief. Things are about to get very busy. Luckily, we have you to help, eh? I mean, I'm always here. Except when I'm not. Suffice to say, I shall be of whatever help I can. With our first foray into the Labyrinth of Ancients, we seek to venture into the unknown, and in order to succeed, we require not only knowledge and preparation, but daring besides. Just like old times. I know, right? We're getting there, Ishtai, one step at a time. Um, all these Magitech terminals won't come cheap. Ugh, shut up, Tataru. Some things you shouldn't put a price on. Head pats. Right. While Graha, Tia, and I configure the terminals, I want the rest of you to procure supplies. Namely, Cerulean to fuel the terminals, and ice shards to keep them cool. The more we have of both, the better. Leave the ice shards to me. I'll round up some adventurers and go on a gathering spree. In that case, I trust Ishtai and Alizé with the Cerulean. Here's a promissory note for each of you. Take them to the Sky Steel Manufactory in Ishgard and the Cerulean Processing Plant in da -la 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 -la, and the people there will give you what you need. Yours is a well-known face in the Holy Sea, I believe. If it's all the same to you, I'll head the da -la 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 -la. <laughs> I mean, no, he's gone with the tear. <laughs> if Alice is bound for the Cerulean processing plant, you'll want to make yourself for the Sky Seal Manufactory if you go. Or, 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 Estinian? Or, or Lucia? We shall see you to the terminals ready by the time you return. Or, um, God, why is her name leaving me? I feel bad because she's amusing. Go ahead and switch over there. 
she's from the broom, and it's the watch guard leader. I mean, night watch or whatever. I won't have to meet the youngest son. Say, I'm still gonna stab. It's uh, the urge to stab is never going away. You stand in Sky Steel Manufactory. What is it you require? Shiba Garland Ironworks. Promissory notes. And so you're after Cerulean. In that case, please present the note to our engineer at the. Airship landing. He'll be glad to assist you. The fuck am I going everywhere and nowhere at the same time? Cerulean, you've come to the right man. Fair warning, though. The price has shot up on the account of the uncertainty with the Empire, so I hope you've got the coin. Well, that's a prim... Well, now, a promissory note from the Ironworks. Don't see many of these. Now that it's a problem, it's as go good as gold to me. You know, I was joking, but... Hi! My friend! Can you speak? After the disappointment of not seeing you in Al Amigo, what good fortune to chance upon you here of all places. Hi, you two! And three person behind you, As since you the chief. As you heard, the Allied Nations are making a renewed effort to address the primal problem. To that end, have I invited the chieftain of the Vanu to Ishgard, that we might together plot a course. Oh, he's not going to say anything? Since the war with the Empire appears to be nearing its conclusion, I would also like to call upon Estinian's lance. Alas, he is, as ever, a difficult man to find. I know, right? I am informed he recently paid a visit to the Rising Stones. Should he happen to do so again, be sure to pass on my regards, won't you? It won't be just the regards, but cool. But tell me, what business brings you to our fair city this day? A cure for tempering. You never cease to amaze me. Is that look? Until now, our only hope has been prevention. Our every failure irrevocable. But this, this would rewrite the rules of engagement. It could end the cycle of bloodshed. You, you are way too animated than I've ever remembered you to be. But I mean, it's Very been a, well. how long? You shall have all the ceruleum we can provide and an airship with which to transport it. In this matter, you may count on Ishgard's full support. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything less. Also, how you doing, Lucia? Are you gonna speak? Do I get to hear your voice? No? Cry? Or I guess he's more relaxed and not uptight because of all the, you know, other shit that's happening that's caused him stress that he can finally, you know, be a bit more animated. That could be it too. Or he's learning how to relax and not be... My fabled walk. <laughs> Sorry.
Your neck looks odd like that. Like it's it's broken. You know, there's better oh, ways to sleep. I would have thought Cerulean weighed so much. Need a massage? Serves me right and not being the... stubborn, I suppose. I should have just done what you The sexual way, I mean, the general out. lies help way. Oh, I hope you sleep well, Haru. Good work, you two. This is all we ask for and more. Quite a lot more, now that I look at it. Uh, d d sorry, d I don't hear enough of your voice, Sid, to recognize it anymore than past what I have to hear every day with the Praetorium or whenever. Lord Emric, eh? And entirely by chance. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Or none of it. We have also succeeded in configuring the terminals, thanks in no small part to our able assistant. Who? Who? Oh? Uh, Nero? <laughs> it's been a while, hero. Has her voice changed again? surprised to see me. Lest you misunderstand, I've no interest in such things as cures for temporary. I figured as much. But if you mean to achieve that which eluded even the storied elegance, it seemed plain that you would require my expertise. <laughs> and so it proved. Is that not right, Garland? Just fuck already! Ask Jesse. She was the one who hired you. All I know is you're an employee of the Ironworks now, so you'll bloody well earn your keep. I mean... I guess... They're also assuming that nobody's done the Omega, you know, <coughs> raids, like I well, have it. wasn't the only reason I agreed to cooperate. I'm reliably informed that Garland and I are destined to unravel the secrets of travel, not only across dimensions, but through time. Fuck already! Doubtless the lion's share of the credit lies with me. Nine parts to Garland's one. And this research will be a stepping stone to that illustrious achievement. Will it though? Because the that per that future no longer happens. But uh, very well then, I'll do a tenth of the work, just the part that's beyond you. I mean, he's no longer interested in doing that line of thinking. That's what he said earlier. Since he apparently did it in the future. For other things. <laughs> Whatever you say, Garland. Yes, fuck already! By the way, the healing applications of Crystal Foci proved very useful in getting us to where we are now. I must remember to thank Mikoto. Oh, references to the other place? Right. If everyone's ready, let's begin. Yes, we're doing the... Swear! I don't like this voice for Sid anymore. Or the, what, if this was a new one or not, but this feels... <laughs> ah, all appears to be in order. Now, we just have to wait for it to find us our magic. Why not take this opportunity to put your feet up? This may take a while. Will I actually do that? Who knows? Oh my god, I actually did! You know, I didn't actually put up my feet, though. Why don't we actually go to bed? To sleep. Alize looks exhausted.
That noise Damn sounds it. bad. It's overloading. Chief! She won't last much longer! Uh, we'll have to shut it down. Wait! We're close! So very close! Oh! We well, won't be able to get anywhere if it well, explodes. This is going swimmingly. Please, a moment longer. I beg you. There. Oh, Bing. Bing. At least that managed to survive long enough. No. <sighs> I was able to memorize the magic before it faded. It still needs to be put to the proof, but I believe we have our cure. Well done. But can, can you see how children like, uh, the, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's just as well. She'll never run again. Not with that attitude. The fault is mine. I'm sorry. Don't be. It may fall short of dimension hopping, but a cure for tempering is not to be sniffed at. This, my friend, is a world-changing discovery. One we're proud to have had a hand in. <clears throat> a few Magitek terminals are a pittance to pay. Thank you. Yeah, if you're doing all this to make me proud along with everything, you've already made well, me proud, don't worry. We've done what we can. The rest is up to you. Oh god. So we have it. A cure for the- finally have it. A cure for the tempering. All that remains is to put it to use. I shall be praying for your success on the front lines. In the end, we didn't need, have to pay for the terminals, which is great for us, but I can't help but feel my counterpart- for my counterpart in the ironworks. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'll go ahead and switch back to my red mage. Yeah. Alas, the Lion Works crew couldn't linger long for long. Far too much to do. Yet brief their time together was. It was bloody good to see them. Uh, There's only one thing on her mind. I mean, surprise, surprise. A long last, we have our cure. In theory, at any rate, we cannot be certain until the time as we put it to proof, but I'm fairly confident. Well, if we are to test it on someone, then I access, suggest Gabu. His symptoms are relatively mild. As long as you exercise due caution. Yes, as long as we exercise due caution, it'll be fine. Without further ado, let's make for Limbs uh, RPG sex capital of Final Fantasy XIV. We c we've kept Gabu waiting long enough. We'll be- I'll be praying for your success. I doubt I could contribute much towards what comes next, so I shall cheer you on from afar. Best of luck with the treatment. Um...
perfect time to put the child out in the rain. Tis plain Alice is very fond of Gabu. To the extent that I've had... To the extent that I have a hand in it, I shall do all in my power to bring him back. Well, this is the moment of truth. I'll have our host bring Gabu to us at once. Apologies for the wait. No, spoken. Gabu, have you been good? Still no change, I'm afraid. He just stands there in silence until we move him. Does he eat? It's all right now. We're going to help you get better. Fancy meeting you here. Nah. Alfano Yushtola! I thought you were attending to primal matters. I mean, this technically is kind of that. We were, and came here for a meeting on the subject. Certain pirate factions did not deign to attend, however. Yeah, those pirates. Canceled. We had resigned ourselves to having wasted a journey when we chanced to espy you. Yeah, I am wearing red. That's kind of bright. Been progress with the treatment? Maybe. Using Magitek terminals to formulate the solution. I would never have contemplated such an approach. Yeah, Grahati is awesome like that. So this new magic, adapted from memory transference, would be used to purge the subject of their fanatical faith, while Angelo would be responsible for reanimating the ether of their soul. Hmm. Yet I wonder at the practicalities if one were to reanimate the soul first, it would only serve to exacerbate the temporary. Conversely, a stagnant soul would not respond to the effects of the magic. Do it at the same time? Combine the, the two? need to be performed simultaneously. Ah, nothing escapes Master Matoya's inquiring eye. As you say, both must be carried out simultaneously. And thus, I propose to imbue Angelo with a tempering treatment in much the same manner as I did the spirit vessels. And then the male strum person back there is just standing here, not knowing what to do. By doing so, we also spare Graha the trouble of casting spell after spell. It's really rather efficient. Be that as it may, certain difficulties are unavoidable. The imbuing process will still require no small amount of ether. And... As I can no longer draw upon the Crystal Tower's stores of energy, I will be compelled to rely on those of others. Well, I for one would be glad to assist. As would I. Since the resumption of our duties, it has been naught but stuffy meetings, and I have ample ether to spare. Excellent. With your permission, then, let us begin. Let us begin! Empower the cat boy! Empower the cat boy! Yes, this will do! And now, it's my turn. Do you have to do this for every single one? Or is it just uh, to get it set right into... And if they hadn't come along, whose energy uh, would you have stolen from? Uh, I mean... Uh, done. I mean, I'm here, but I mean... 
No small amount indeed. Whew. Well, we seek to go where even the Allegans did not. It was never like to be easy. The rest is up to you, Alize. The treatment itself will take time and focus, so we will need a quiet room. I'm sure our hosts can spare one. I will go with her. It may be a while before we return, so I would ask for your patience and your faith. You don't have to ask about faith on it, but what, I'm not actually going to sit in the room and wait like I wasn't before doing? We'll bring Gabu back. You see if we don't. Don't jinx it. You know, the whole thing of between expansions to, you know, kick you, kick the main character in the balls would seem out so that she starts place. at her bottom and works Let her way back up. place to recuperate while we wait for news. I mean, I heard the Bismarck has some good stuff. Alize will succeed. I am certain of it. Need but have faith. I, I, it's not that I don't have faith. I'm just not patient. Hi, Randy. How are you? I'm as good as any to have a rest. I mean, it is braiding out, but okay. We're all being emo in the rain. For years, Eorzea has labored to find a solution to the primal problem, without success. Any hope that tempering could be reversed faded long ago. I myself had given it up as impossible. Given up on the tempered and the light corrupted alike. They were problems to be tolerated, or else eliminated, I believed. And to think otherwise was pure naivety. Childishness, even. I mean, there's a certain amount of. But Alize I'm doing well. How? To give up. How? Well, you already she said you were doing great. So, struggled. whoa, we're doing great together. And her efforts were rewarded with a way to bring back Halric. And now, countless others may no longer be beyond salvation. However there's some things to have faith. I have the greatest respect for my sister. Had I half her stubbornness? Nay, her unwillingness to accept oh, the status quo. Oh, go on. Quo. I would be a far better person. A far better scion. I feel like Alphado and uh, the, 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 the Alizé are about to go through something. Is their dad going to show up and ruin all their own, you know, personal development? Well, if it's any consolation, she's done all of your work. Congrats, hon! Huh? graduation thesis. How very embarrassing. I, I wouldn't expect anything different. It is comforting and not a little surprising to hear that I'm still capable of impressing my sister. On the rare occasions I'm not annoying her, that is. Alizé? Could you have had somebody carry you? In the rain? Alize, are you all right? Does she look okay? The treatment. Did it work? Grahatia, why did you let the lady walk all the way up here? I know she's stubborn. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. Delighted, happy, glad. Gaboo!
What, just do you not have any Charlene bread for you? All this time, my mind was filled with thoughts of Great Father Titan. Please, sir, I want some more. Sorry. R wrong I wrong never fantasy. I forgot about mother and father. Always, they were in my heart. Constantly, ever, always. So I tried to focus on their faces. Theirs and yours. Alize's and everyone's. And I found that I could remember. One thing, then another, and another. Your hopes reached Kabu. They helped him to hold on. I think it was Alice's hopes more than anything else. I mean, my, mine's are so minor comparatively. Because she was the one that kept on going to him to hang out, and I only came that one time. I couldn't have done it without you, Alize. Can you help the others too? Kill them, heal them, help them? I will need to figure out how to mass yes, do it, though. We can. All of them. <clears throat> Without wishing to dampen the mood, I feel compelled to add certain caveats regarding the viability of the treatment for general use. Duh. As you know, reversing the effects of tempering demands a profuse amount of ether. And while Alize was able to heal Gabu alone, I fear the same will not be true for those who exhibit more advanced symptoms. Moreover, the treatment's effects are limited to the soul. It offers no succor to those whose very flesh has been altered through prolonged exposure to a primal's influence. All of which is to say that we cannot save everyone. Maybe we can't, or maybe we can. No one gave us a hope of saving Gabu, and yet here we are. We must find a way to treat as many as possible. There's a start, somewhere. Then, the next logical step would be to produce a veritable army of porkses, would it not? Granted, it seemed a simple enough process in the first, but I suspect it will be different here in the source. Not that I am any authority, of course. I could go over to the first and have a bunch of porksies be made. Yet there is an authority on familiars to whom we may grudgingly turn. She's stubborn, haughty, eccentric, irascible, laconic, annoying. And her name is Master Matoya, the real one. I'm gonna tell on you, I'm gonna tell on you, I'm gonna tell on you! I mean, of course, I'm not going to tell her that I have you. have to go now, yeah. Babu, But the people here will look after you, all right? And I promise to come and visit you again soon. All right. Thank you, Alize. Thank you. You may recall that in order to procure the ingredients for Angelo, we had no choice but to surrender ourselves to the whims of the pixies. But I should have done far, done so with far better grace had I known we would go on, what we would go on to achieve. We did it. We brought Gabu back. If I have. Anything to say on the in the matter, he'll be the first of many. Alize will be exhausted from her efforts, but you wouldn't look so to look at her now. If she's ready to press on, then so am I. As she will be will be in pain to so remind me, I have not paid Master Matoya a visit since returning to the first, but it seems as good a time as any. Come, let us make for her cave. <sighs> yes. She, she will definitely be unhappy with you, like master, like people. <laughs> oh god. 
Excuse me while I get out my popcorn for this. I appreciate that, Rune. Wrong way. Wrong way. Went the wrong way. Rooney. Maybe this is some stuff. Yeah. Master Matoya is something of a legend among, among Archons. I very much look forward to meeting her, if not the dressing down I'm liable to receive for my inept attempts to su at summoning you. <laughs> you remember when last we came here, it was only to find why the others had collapsed? If someone had told me that they'd be whisked away to another world, I probably would have laughed at their face. You live and learn, eh? It's been some time since Mr. Matoya saw Yishtola, and what a lot they will have to talk about. Yeah, talk. I take it you're ready to bear witness to the joyous reunion of master and pupil very well. Yes, joyous. Th that is a word. It does exist. I don't know if we knock this time, though. Nary a word from you all this time, then you bring every man and his pirogo with you. Did no one teach you any manners, girl? I might have forgotten them. You know, being in bed the entire time. You were too busy teaching me etherology, master. Jesting aside, I wanted to be the one to express our gratitude. I am told you spared no effort to sustain our bodies while we were away. And for that, we owe you our lives. Thank you. <laughs> you were gone so long. I was starting to think you'd set your heart on staying. Oh, she'll figure out her way back. It wasn't easy to leave, as it happens. Seldom does one have the opportunity to study other worlds, and I would not have minded extending my stay by a handful of years. Ever the scholar. Yishtola dedicated herself to studying ancient civilizations of the Oh, Perth, Alphino is absolutely throwing him her in the bus first. Blessed in the process. There she took on the name of Matoya and won the respect of all the children of the forest. I merely adopted an alias in accordance with the custom of my hosts. Yours just happened to be the first name that came to mind. You mean to tell me you went gallivanting about using my name and only bothered to visit when you need a favor? And don't pretend you don't. I taught you long enough. <laughs> Indeed. For someone and who's uh, so politically I able. Am, I could not fail to recall my master's sage advice. When the answer eludes you, 
Look to the wisdom of your elders. You there. Were you going to introduce yourself? Uh... How remiss of me. Grahatia is my name, and I am proud to call myself a scion. I too wish to offer my gratitude for your invaluable aid in sustaining the Archon's bodies, as well as my apologies. It was my inexpert summoning spell which endangered their lives in the first place. I mean, I'm quite sure we would have gotten nowhere without it, though. Without them being there. Oh, yes. The one bent on digging up the mysteries of Alag. Old Galaf used to speak of you, and Kryles told me all about your recent exploits. Do you have a bad back or something? At ease, boy. Whatever mess you've made, I'm not in the habit of dwelling on the failings of a younger generation. You are too kind. I've also heard much and more about you, Master Matoya. Tis an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Well, that's more than enough pleasantries for anyone. Tell me what I you want. I love you, hun. I haven't got all day. So that's the way of it. It should be a simple enough matter to make the familiar. The magic, on the other hand. Ah, that you may leave to me. Being the only one possessed of royal blood, I alone can imbue the subject with the necessary magic. So I just need to create foxes with the power to stir the soul. Just, I say. Though we're talking about a veritable herd of the little buggers, we collapsed before we reached double figures. But if I could get a familiar to create the familiars, a mother porksy, as it were, they can give birth to themselves? Mwah. Seems I haven't seen the last of that moldy old hole after all. Oh. So are we going back to the... Are we going back to that library? A pork seed that produces pork seeds. What an expired idea. By the way, Stai, do you think I misspoke earlier? I assure you it was not in my intent to embarrass anyone. It's fine. You keep... I think you're a very under-the-radar artist. Moldy old hole. She really must miss the place. Where does she mean... Uh, where does she mean, do you think? Some matter of hidden workshop, perhaps? In case you're ever wondered, Alphano got his innocent streak from our mother. It can be rather endearing and even useful in certain situations. But most of the time, it makes me want to shake him. Poor Yustola. Alright, off to my old workshop then. Everything required to make your familiar is there. That may be, but no one has set foot in there er, since the exodus. I dread to imagine what's become of it. Oh, there's sure to be a f handful of feral familiars and mayhap a monster or two. But nothing to trouble the likes of you. You can consider cleaning up the place payment for my help. Fine, we'll do it. Good girl. Now, if there's no other ex objections, I suggest you run along to the maker's quarter. I'll send one of my parogos ahead to lead you to the workshop. You need to only tell him who you are. One can't be too careful after all. Off you go. Now that they're mentioning their parents more and more, I guess we're going to meet them soon. What are you still doing here? Off to the maker's quarter with you. I'll join you when I'm ready. Now, go. Shoot.
We will make it there eventually. Probably. I'm going to unlock this and probably end for the night, though. The unwashed. Ah, ha. the workshop was an unforgiving place even before the Exodus. I doubt the years of neglect have improved it. Judging by the unruly state of the flora without, I think it's safe to assume there will be no shortage of unruly fauna within. Add to that disturb undisturbed secrets of a workshop, we'll have the makings of an adventure. As I may have mentioned, Alize and I were still very young when we departed with the Exodus. I envy you solo for, rem you for remembering the city as it once was. The grass could certainly do with a trim. Greetings, Ribbit, and welcome to my good mistress's relic. Rogo is my name, and I'm honored to be your guide. Within you, you'll find a space dedicated to the making of familiars, along with the cavern with wherein the requisite ingredients may be had. I must warn you, however, that the place has not played host to a single soul, much less a broom, in over 15 years, and I will regret being in some disarray. Uh, you're, you're saying the monsters in there don't have soul? Or is it just you don't recognize them? Huh? 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 But rest assured, my brothers and I shall see fit that you do not lose your way. Now then, ribbit! Say only the word and I will show you in. Alright, it doesn't look like... Let me... small talk. So you say, I shall leave the van or would you rather I follow up the rear? Kinky. Whatever you prefer, I'm happy to adapt. So come, let us go make our... Mother proxy. You know, any of that could make it very kinky sounding. I was still a child when I last came here, but now I'm rather more capable. Not that Master Matoya seems to have noticed. Mayhaps she will when I have cleaned up the mess she left. I'm no stranger to poxy, proxy, no, pork seat making, as you know. It's count for something. You know, though it's been a while since I last joined the fray, I have followed Alizé's example and practiced whenever possible. My healing magics are as ready as at always. You ready? Give the word and I'll show you in. Alright. Go ahead and end there. Alright, y'all. This was Ishtai Kirfax. I hope you have a good day or night, whenever it is, wherever it is you currently are. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's go. Uh, well, I'm not writing out, because there's... Holy Rooney here. I hope you sleep well. Night!